Trying to buy or sell a house in Hamilton or Burlington, Judy Marsales from Judy Marsales Real Estate Limited is here and she's going to put things in perspective. Well, thank you very much. I think it's very interesting what's going on right now because expectations are a little outside of the bounds of reality. Mm -hmm. And in fact, you know, I have some uh, sellers that want what their neighbors got six months ago. Yes, and, and that's that's just not happening, right? No. That was a very, very high, that was a, se a strong seller's market. Correct. And now things have softened. Well, softened, but I think I use a word that I <laughs> frequently call perspective. I think it's important that we all get a little more perspective relative to real estate. And um, I'm fond of sharing some of the statistical data with consumers, and that is that, do you know that there was 11 years when prices actually fell? Mm -hmm. From 1989 it started. But then we had about six years where the market went up and up and up. And we were talking earlier about what defines that kind of a market. Well, essentially it's three to one. Three available properties for every sale. And at three to one, you have a balanced market. When you start to increase the number of properties available, then you can change that market to a buyer's market. And we certainly had that for, you know, about 11 years, as mm -hmm. I mentioned. Yes. Which, of course, a buyer wants less. So it puts downward pressure on price. Now, interestingly enough, uh, we then went into this crazy world and where things just exploded. Yes, yes. And there were a number of reasons for that. One, obviously, supply and demand. Two was the demographic shift. And in Hamilton, we have started to see that millennials have just now outnumbered baby boomers. So we have this strong demand. Another element is really good news for Hamilton. We as a city have started to attract attention. We have a wonderful city. We have a wonderful waterfront. We have the escarpment, but we've been underappreciated. Mm -hmm. And now with homes available, we are being appreciated more. Right, but that leads to house prices coming up. So it's, it's, it's that unaffordability for a lot of people, and especially for millennials, because you were talking earlier about, you know, uh, like when I bought my first house, I was like in my 20s, um, and, and I had job stability. Mm -hmm. and, and now a lot of people are working gigs and <laughs> and you know can you get a mortgage well in fact you know it's interesting the lending associations have become very flexible and uh, so I would always recommend that home buyers get to know whether it's a bank or a lending institution or whomever they're comfortable working with get to know them start to develop your plan so that you are ready for whatever the market offers and I, I find them very flexible right now. Okay. I think they're engaging and encouraging young people, but to do it responsibly. And you know, measure income against expenses and all of those sort of elements. Mm -hmm. Kind of don't think that you're gonna have the house right away that mom and dad have now, <laughs> right? Well, true, very true. Like what happened to starter homes? Can you even buy a starter home anymore affordably? Well, you can, but you have to look at where you're going. Yeah. So each area has a different sort of uh, criteria value. And so you might start somewhere where you didn't think you'd like to, and then you can change locations. But it has been a really interesting nuance for some areas that were not attracting the same attention mm -hmm. as, as they should have. Yeah, yeah. You know, Hamilton has this amazing architectural history. And some of these areas that have been sort of neglected Yeah are starting to draw attention. Right, okay. We're gonna to have to stop you there because we've run out of time. We've got to get you back with more perspective. Judy Marsales from Judy Marsales, <laughs> Real Estate Limited.